hi guys welcome back to my channel so today is going to be part two of the utility room excuse the fact that i'm in my bikini top but it's absolutely roasting here today and yeah let's get straight into today's video that's what i like about you so dangerous i get this Hi guys, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Juliet and I do three videos a week on all sorts. I do lots of beauty, fashion, lifestyle. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, there is a little subscribe button down there in red somewhere. I would love for you to click that and stick around. It's completely free and entirely up to you. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so I don't know if you've seen, but I did do a part one of this clean where I kind of decluttered. It has got messy a little bit again there's a few things on the side but it's just things to go away it's an organized mess so if you've watched that video you will see this bit i was doing the toilet and i just realized i just didn't like the tiles anymore and um whoops so what kind of happened was we had tiles on this wall that i didn't like and i just ended up ripping them off and we are spending so much money at the moment on other things in the house because if you've followed me for a while you'll know we had a flood downstairs so we're still waiting on getting new, new floors plastering and everything so we really need to kind of keep our budget low so i happened to find two packs of cladding so we actually have wooden cladding in the hallway and we had a couple of packs left over and um, they're a little worse for wear because they'd not been stored correctly but i think that they are going to be perfect for in here now i know what you're thinking wood water i get it but we don't really use the sink much in here and have a lot of water or things around here so i think it will be perfect for in here plus it's free and we all like things for free so i'm going to do that today and i'm also going to cover these um worktops so we kind of bought these from wix they were really cheap but it was just something that we got at the time because we needed to save money and i have some leftover vinyl so i have some leftover vinyl which has got this really nice wood effect if you follow me again for a while you'll see that this is what we've got in the kitchen i bought it i think it's called from vinyl i think it was called vinyl warehouse or something like that but i will leave it linked below because i love this stuff i literally dc fix my house if i could um, so I'm going to put this on and then we're going to hopefully try and do the cladding today if I can rope mat into it. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so it is all clear in here now. So I'm just going to clear down, wipe down the um, surfaces and then I'll show you how I do it. I'm going to start on this one because this worktop is going to be the easiest one to show you how to do it. So what you're going to need is you're going to make sure first that this is really clean. You want no lumps little bits or anything because they will show underneath the vinyl and they will like rip the vinyl so you want to make sure that you've given it a good clean down and dust as well then you are going to need your vinyl and you're going to need some sharp scissors and also a craft knife so i actually got mine from poundland and it is the best one i've ever got i'm going to run this to if you can see here to this line here which is the joining strip for the worktops so it's just going to be a really nice straight simple piece so this is going to be so it should be so easy to do so you get your vinyl i want to make sure it is deep enough please excuse the fact i don't know why i'm doing this in a bikini top you want to fold the roll back on itself i'm just going to fold it down but you don't want too much excess because that's just going to make it harder to do so that it's as snug as possible the thing about this is it's actually got the squares on the back so you can see where to cut to put it back over and i'm going to use that as a guide to cut it like so so it's a straight edge at the back and then there's quite a little bit of excess here so i want to roll it under so it sticks but you don't want too much excess there either because of that is going to be a pain when you peel the back off and it's really sticky you're just going to get in a mess if there's too much so that's that cut off Get rid of that and this is the rough edge and it's going to tuck underneath here anyway so it doesn't really matter okay so that is all done i'm just going to do the edges now 
there's enough for it to wrap underneath if you have got a corner you can use like a hairdryer to pull it over that is your one side done how much better does that look already now i'm going to move on to this side this is going to be the harder side because it's got the sink and the tap i'm no expert but the best way i do it is i just like measure it out and then i will put it up to the sink and when i get to the sink i will like cut it out with scissors so that i can at least put the tap through and things like that and then i will just use the craft knife to go around it there probably is a better more professional way of doing it um but i'm not a professional dc fixer i'm just doing my utility room on a budget <laughs> side and go up to the sink and then cut off the excess paper and go from there <laughs> okay so i've just hit the sink so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold it back i'm going to cut off this excess paper because this is just going to get in your way so you want to just cut that off okay and there we have it not going to lie had a bit of a pig around the tap um i'll show you i shouldn't really but i'll show you close um i had to like piece a bit let's see that's like piece a bit here and i've got a bit of bubbling but do you know what it was tricky and it was good here for the day now we are so close we've just got like that little bit there by the plug socket to do but it is now like after nine o'clock so we can't really cut anymore so we've just got to do that little bit there but then this is all done now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint this white with satin wood which i'll probably do tomorrow after matt has just finished those last couple of pieces but yeah it is looking so much better i don't know whether you agree but compared to how it was i think it's looking a lot brighter and neater and it's got to be better than it was hasn't it really so welcome to day two matt is cutting wood <laughs> trying to sort this bit around the socket doing my head in but we're nearly there matt's going insane with the plugs aren't you babe Enjoying it over. <laughs> I think he hates me right now. Um, we left literally two pieces left to do, and um, first of all, the bracket thing that's like behind the plugs came away from the wall. Then they're just not going straight, and I'm scared that I might get something thrown at me in a minute. <laughs> but I've made you a coffee. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I'll show you when he's done it, but I better go because the camera probably doesn't help it. Okay, so all the wood is on and now it is time to paint. So, top tip with paint wise, Dulux Satin Wood. Honestly guys, this is the best paint ever for wood. It dries really quick. I know that it's more expensive because it's branded, the Dulux one. However, it's brilliant and I use this for all like my gloss work in the house so satin wood is water based so the difference between gloss and this is gloss is oil based so no matter what you do or what you try it will eventually go yellow because the oil comes to the surface of the paint talking like i'm some kind of expert i just learned this from 
DIY and decorating over the years. So satin wood is the best thing. Plus it's easier to clean your brushes because it's water based. And yeah, I just love this. So these tins, I'll link it down below, but I think they're about £25 roughly. I try to get them when they're on offer. But yeah, I'm just gonna go and paint it on there. gonna wait for this to dry now i'm gonna leave it for a couple of hours and then i'm going to roller it so i always use a brush for things like this first because of like to get in all the tongue and groove but i do think a roller always gives a better finish and i'm going to use a small roller so i really prefer small rollers anyway um so i've got a small roller at the ready and a little tray i'm going to line this with like a carry bag or some tin foil so that i'm going to wash the tray um and yeah, and I'll give it another coat in a minute. I'll still use a brush, obviously, to do all the beading second coat. And yeah, I'm not going to show you over there. I'm going to leave that till the reveal. And yeah, we'll do the coat. it is done i'm going to show you the paint is still a bit wet but i was just too eager so here we go 